My name is Trey Herndon. I went to uh, East Hamilton High School, and uh, I play for the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. I grew up in Chattanooga, and I'm catering CNW food for you all's meal, and it's just a way for me to give back to the community. I appreciate you all coming. I hope you all enjoy the meal. God bless everyone. I'm a, uh, when, when the food is served, when the food is served, I'm going to walk around, you know, introduce myself to anybody who want to talk, you know, say hello or anything. So it's, it's a family gathering. Hope everybody enjoy the food. Hope it'll be a great time. So appreciate it. Thank you. Kids in the community, I know when I've come back in the past, I've worked out with a lot of kids in high school. We'll go to high school, you know, work out, give them my knowledge because, uh, you know, I want to see everybody succeed. And then for ones that may not have the same opportunity as me, you know, it's still a, it's a blessing to be where I'm at. So to pass on that blessing to them is, is a big is a big thing. A lot of people think it's just a meal, but this is the beginning because these are folks that are living on the streets, the people that are trying to get into housing and off the streets. And so that meal, it's the start of their journey to get back to self-sufficiency and feeling exactly. human again. Exactly. So. All right, so basically we serve about 170,000 meals every year. Okay, so three hot meals every single day. When you do something special like this, you bring in caterers, you bring in kind of soul food, you know, like right, right, right. warm soul food that makes people feel good on a yeah. cold, wet day. Yeah. If you go upstairs right now, there are about 200, 200 plus people That's sitting good. down trying to stay dry, stay out of the cold weather, but yeah. nowhere else to go. So this, this meal that you're about to serve is going to be their sustenance for the day. It's going to make them feel good, feel human, if you will. Right. So good. it's a pretty important thing. Yeah. I, I know you come back after being away, you didn't come home, and you know, you said it was eighth grade, but you're here for kind of the hardest right, years, right, right. you know, right. high school. Um, come back and to give back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. For sure. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. How you doing? years studying at Vanderbilt, I learned a lot about poverty, race, I uh, studied sociology, and ever since, you know, my year studying there, I kind of just grabbed a passion for, you know, helping out maybe people that aren't as fortunate as others, and uh, so being able to do this, I know a lot of guys come to camps, and I felt like being able to do something small, like, you know, nobody really want to pass up a meal, just being able to feed anybody that may not be able to get a meal on their own would be a pretty big thing for me. That could be any one of us. Anybody, anybody. So it was, it was, it was a great idea. Um, you know, starting off small with a meal, hopefully to gradually build up as the years go to uh, bigger events or more people coming, however it may go. Yeah, I have my, my mom, my dad, my little sister. She goes to Baylor. Uh, one of my homeboys from Vanderbilt. I played football with. So everybody's coming along, coming together. And, Helping me out with this, so really, it's a really appreciate it. Glory, I love seeing people smile, you know, and uh, a meal. A hot meal making anyone's day. So being able to serve someone, uh, seeing them smile, seeing people eat, have a good time, that's an really good. I would be able to do this at any time. I would rather do it. Black History Month. You know, I know a lot of people 
doing uh, holidays like Thanksgiving, Christmas. So just this time, it's kind of a random time, but I felt like any time would be the best to do it. So. Absolutely. I uh, wanted to start off with the community kitchen. Um, kind of grab this the title of it, the title of Hungry Hands. So, you know, that's just this event, but hopefully in the future we can do football camps, uh, you know, anything, anything that'll help the community really, right? Like from kids to adults, anything where I can help and uh, put, my, put my name out there to show that I really care for the community in Chattanooga. I appreciate everyone that's helping me uh, with this event, everyone from Chattanooga who's helped me from 8th grade, from when I moved down here from Detroit to now, all the support um, from the city, from the family, everybody, and this is just the beginning. I, I hope to do a lot more as the years go by. Perfect, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. I uh, want to say I appreciate my big brother for doing all this today and um, just reaching out to the community. And being a positive role model for me, he really inculcates things that make a positive impact in the community. And I just want to say I love you and I appreciate everything that you do for me.